What's up YouTube? Today we're looking at a knife from across the pond. Um, the manufacturer's name is Brissa. They used to go by Enzo, um, but now have changed their name. And I think that they make blanks for some of the businesses over there, knife making places. As you can see this, I believe it's Curly Birch. I'm probably messing that up, um, getting getting it wrong, that is. But the grain on this is actually really nice. I like this a lot about this piece. This is a Nesmuk. Um, as you can see, it kind of has this huge Skinner-esque um, sway in the blade, and there's a just a ton of edge. Um, the piece isn't small either. It's not ginormous by any means, but it's not exactly a little guy. Not only that, the tip of it is fairly blunt. I mean, it's still sharp. I just mean by its design, it's fairly... Um, but the other, the good part about that would be it's going to be almost impossible to break that off. Which makes sense because this knife is for bushcraft, for living on the land. Um, this guy named, uh, I forget his name. I think it's George W. Sears. Uh, I could be wrong. What? But I think it's George W. Sears. And it, this knife, um, he propagated it. And uh, he knew some, he had a Native American friend named Nasmuk which I guess the nice gets a name from. I'm not really sure. Kind of, you know, who knows? Um, but this is the Brissa Nets mug. As compared to the uh, Brissa Kepar, both of these are in 80 CR2V, which is Swedish saw steel. Um, I blackened this, and that's why it's a little bit patchy. Um, but even so, it's way darker than it was. I'm happy with this patina. It's just a working patina anyway. It's not like, uh, probably not gonna do this one because they left this, but uh, you can see they have similar um, design, like for instance, the liners. Um, I'll, I'm gonna review the Brissa Cap Art soon. Um, they're super great knives. I like Brissa a lot. They also come with these cool sheaths. This one's a dangler, um, which basically, I think people like them in the winter because it allows this to dangle below a jacket. But also if you wear like tactical pants, um, it'll be really easy to sneak those into there and, uh, this this almost acts like a shackle where all of a sudden this becomes very flexible and uh it's not as stiff and prohibitive of your movement anyway uh i'll show it one more time thanks for sticking around obviously it has a interestingly shaped sheath um you kind of have to work it in a little bit and certainly this, although it's very, very light, if you were to get in some self-defense scenario, this would give you the ability to chop and where I don't think most knives would allow you to chop like this. And also, I mean, you could still thrust. It would just be kind of probably scary. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's all she wrote for this one. Hope you folks have a great rest of your day. Bye now.